Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for May 30th to June 12th. Thank you guys so much for liking. Thank you guys for also subscribing and turning on all those bell notifications. I really appreciate all of your support and thank you to all my members. So I know a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me about personal readings. However, my personal readings at the moment are closed. So I will be, uh, I am offering a contest at the moment for a free reading, which is free to enter and free to get involved with and free to receive. So all the information, because I don't want to take up too much of your time, is going to be at the end of this video. So stick with me till the end to find out more details about that. And I've already shuffled all of your cards. And remember, this reading is going to be for couples first, then single second. I'm going to put all the uh, timestamps below. So you'll know if you're a couple, go to that. If you're singles, go to that. Okay, so... So guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's lay down these cards and then let's go over them. All right, so what's going on my Tauruses, romantic single, excuse me, couples, Tauruses, romantic love life for May 30th to June 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, let's lay these cards down. Okay, world card energy, ace of swords, five of cups, Six of Pentacles, the Magician card energy. Let's move this over to you so you guys can see it better. Okay, be sure it's straight there. Okay, Six of Wands, Five of Wands, the Devil card energy, the Two of Wands, and the Death card energy. Okay. So, and then let's also shuffle these cards as well. All right, what's gonna have my Taurus single uh, couples? I'm saying singles. Taurus couples romantic love life for May 30th to June 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, and then let's also take a look at this. What's gonna have my Taurus couples romantic love life May 30th to June 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. All right, so we got everything set up. Now let's go over everything. All right, so obviously in the overall, guys, the overall reading tells me you got the Magician card energy. The Magician card speaks of you guys have everything that you need, okay, with the Magician card energy. You're manifesting something here in your romantic love life. You're manifesting some great things here. And I feel like if I'm looking at this, we see that there is a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion here. You're having this sense of victory around your situation. There is, um, there has been some challenges here, but it does look like there's a sense of overcoming that at this point. So let's go through each card here. So in the current, we see the world card energy, current situation, world card energy. We're talking about couples. So for some of you, maybe you're just uh, dating someone and now you're going to a higher level of commitment here with the world card energy in the current situation, or you're having a sense of a completion or accomplishment in this situation. Also, some kind of cycle is coming to a completion here. Okay, let's keep going. Right when it comes to an ex-partner. Wow, we're talking about the, the fact that there is in the current situation some stuff about this cycle that's completing with an ex-partner here. Okay, and yep, the zombies card is coming out, which represents somebody from the past, Taurus. So Taurus, yes, in the current situation, a cycle is completing here when it comes to somebody from your past. That is very clearly what's going on here in the current situation because the zombies is somebody from the past according to this deck and the world card is saying there's, there's something being accomplished, something being completed here. And obviously it's some unfinished business with an X. Mm, okay, let's keep going. Okay, so the next card is your crossing card, which is your your blockage here for the next couple weeks, Ace of Swords. So you have a lack of clarity here with the Ace of Swords energy. So there's a lack of clarity about an opportunity and it's something to do with a, a commitment, engagement, or marriage. You're like, all right, I don't know what I need to do about this. It's like, I don't know what I need to do about this commitment, engagement, or marriage. Or you're like, you know what? I need to gain clarity so I don't keep repeating these same patterns here. Mm, that makes sense because the ex love interest there. And then we see that there is some issues around uh, communication. And this is the letter card energy. So it tells me it's something to do with a text message, a Facebook message. So what it's saying to me is 
there's something clear about this commitment or uh, engagement or marriage or the sense of, I don't want to keep repeating these patterns when it comes to this text message, Facebook message. Well, what are we going on in the, in the current situation? You got some stuff being resolved with this ex-love interest. Okay. Obviously, you guys in a coupled situation. So also, the, the next card we're going to go over is this person's feelings. Now, it doesn't have to be the person you're with. It can just be the person you turned on this video for. Okay. So the feelings are here, the Five of Cups energy. So whoever this is, this person is focused on a loss, regrets, okay? They just are focusing on what has happened here and how they can't fix it, okay? And we, this is leaving them at a crossroads. They're like, I don't know what to do here. I, I'm, I'm at a crossroads. I don't know what choice to go here. But this person is like, I want to put the work into this. You know, I'm going to put my whole back into this situation if that's what it takes. Because I really, really want to, really want to uh, put the effort here. So this person is like, I have so many regrets when it comes to you. And I, I, I know that I'm at a crossroads or this decision needs to be made. But you know what? I'm willing to put all the effort I need to put into this to make this work. So that's how they feel. And nine is the number of desires, fulfillment of wishes. And five is the number of regrets or challenges or changes. Now, five is the number of the change or the challenge here. So now let's see what happened in the past. Six of Pentacles energy. Six of Pentacles tells me that there was some things that were brought into balance or there was a sense of, you know, I'm really giving a lot here. I'm giving a lot and I really need to look at this. I really need to kind of analyze this and really look at this deeply and spend some time alone in doing that because there is a stuck energy coming out here from the past. It's like I'm stuck. So I need to look at this, analyze this of how this can be a balanced situation because something isn't an equal give and take here. Okay, let's keep going. So we see at, again, at the overall here is the magician card energy. The head of the matter is the magician card energy. Magicians represent, it can represent in the negative sense, depending on the cards that we clarify with. In the negative sense, the magician can be like, all right, there's some kind of manipulation going on here, right? Some trickery. In a positive sense, the magician can be saying, well, you're, you're really manifesting some things here. You feel like there's an ideal situation that you have all the tools that you need. So let's see clarity wise what's going on here. So you're like, all right, I have all the tools I need when it comes to family and long term commitment. Oof, the cat cards coming out here. OK, so there is a sense that someone is being uh, manipulative or fickle here because we got the cat energy. Cat energy is like, are they being honest with me about wanting to start the family or something to do with a long term commitment here? You know, is there really an ideal situation? Do they have all the tools that I need? So this uh, the overall reading is talking about this, like, or is this person kind of like being manipulative here? OK. And we see that there's something to do with a choice. So we see in the near future what's going to happen sooner, right? It's going to happen fast because this is talking about the near future. And we have the Six of Wands energy. So you're going to get this victory here. You're going to be right here. Or this person wants your attention because they want to make the effort here. Okay, they want to make the effort here. And they, they want a sense of overindulgence here with the pig card energy coming out. So they want to overindulge in you. Okay, and they want a victory here and they want to make the effort. Okay, they want your attention, six of wands energy, or in this situation, somebody just wants to be right, right? We want, they want to win the argument here. Okay, so I'm going to go around now. Let me just show you guys. Hold on. Okay. So we go around to the situation. There's something fickle here about the things that need to be brought into balance because there's regrets about what happened because someone was being overindulgent. And we see at the central here, the crossing is something to do with uh, communication or lack of communication and gaining clarity. Um, and we see at the central um, theme of this, this situation is someone from the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we see what's an, not an equal give and take. Well, it has something to do with someone from the past and overindulgence, right? That's why that card is there. And there's a sense of wanting to complete a cycle here, right? Wanting to have something accomplished here in bringing things into balance in this overindulgence. Okay. And we go through it. There's a choice for, and let's, let's say there's a choice there's a choice for 2 plus 9 is 10, 11, choice again, to fulfill your desires in some kind of stability or stableness. And then we see 
there's fickle energy and some stuck energy because someone needs to put the work or effort into this abundance, right? For the pig card for me represents something to do with abundance here. So we see in the near future, obviously it looks very good. It's saying that there's a, they're wanting to make an effort here and they want a victory here. Or there's gonna be a victory for you. And there is gonna be a sense of abundance here because we got the pig card coming out, okay? Let's keep going. So we see the positive of this week or a couple weeks now is the five of wands energy. So there is a moving past arguments and disputes. So that's that's coming to a completion there with that arguments and disputes or challenges. So that's being resolved. And there is a sense of, okay, there's spiritual lessons around this situation. And we know that there is love here with the heart current energy. So there's love here and there's understanding of like, all right, we're gonna move past these challenges or somebody really wants to fight for this, right? They really wanna fight for this situation and they know that there's spiritual lessons, there's spiritual connection and you know, there's true love here with the heart current energy coming out. So now let's see what's going on. Uh, I also wanna get you guys some other messages here before we go forward. So let me move back here. Can I have some messages for my Tauruses? Can I have some messages for my Tauruses for the romantic love life? For this coming for my couples, please. May 30th to June 12th. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, obviously these all wanted to come out. So let's see what this is about. Okay, have faith. Yeah, fury, uh, fury climax approaches. Okay, so let's go over this. Okay, so we see that you need to have faith in your dreams. So what are your dreams? What are your hopes? What's going to be good for you here? Because, you know, there are, you can let this get to you, you know, you can argue and fight, but you have to understand or you have to fight for the fact that you have to realize that you are good enough, that you have value. So you have to have faith in the situation, in fulfilling your desires and your dreams and not get caught up in these arguments and disputes and understanding your value. Okay, so let's keep going here. So we see that the overall outcome here is the devil card energy. So there's obsessions. They're obsessed about, or you're obsessed about making a choice here to a wands energy about ending something here with the death card energy or ending, stopping, or completing something to start anew. And let's go clarify further. We see there is obsessions about a soulmate connection and a choice being made about new love here and then we see again strong desire strong attachments here obsession so obviously for you couples um there is uh obviously some things uh, to do with this person this 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 relationship that you're in but it looks like potentially there could be some things coming up about this x energy okay and you wanting to kind of like go for it or for some of you you're just like you know what I, I, you know, I really just want to have new love here. I'm looking at potential new love here and trying to make a choice because there's strong desires and strong attachments to end something to start a new here. Okay, let's keep going. Yep. You feel attacked or you feel like really surprised or you're kind of wanting attacking, you want to attack the situation when it comes to your happiness and wanting to take a leadership role here. So I feel like you guys are trying to make a choice with your heart because you know there's strong desires and strong attachments and you're trying to make a choice and I feel some of you are ready for like a change, a transformational change here and you want to focus on your happiness here and there is there is some happy things here because you're gonna have to make a choice about new love for some of you or this new love has to do with a renewal love from somebody from your past because obviously that's what's coming out here. And they are very obsessed with you because obviously we have the death card energy. So you can see this in a couple different ways for you couples, okay? It looks like you guys are dealing with this X energy and it's like there's an opportunity coming up for you guys to get back together with this X and to break up this current situation for some of you and for others of you. It's like, all right, you know what? These things, I, I, there's, there's issues here with this person and I'm just ready to focus on my happiness and this new potential love and I'm making the choice to end something to start a new. Let's go a little further on this. Mm -hmm. Yep, Knight of Wands energy. Yes, there's pa passion and chemistry here and a sense of family and long-term commitment. So you're going towards this passion here and you're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. Yeah, you're following your passions and you're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. You're making choices towards that. All right, my beautiful Tauruses. 
Taurus couples. Now we're going to move into our uh, single Taurus couples, excuse me, single Taurus readings. Um, also, if you guys are interested in uh, getting involved with the free reading contest, you have to wait till the end. Okay, so I'm now going to move into the single Taurus couples. Single Tauruses. You want to say Taurus couples. Mm -mm -mm. All right, bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. Okay. I'll show you guys what's going on while I clear this out of the way. <laughs> So, let's now move into our Taurus Singles Romantic Love Life. Taurus Singles Romantic Love Life for May 30th to June 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Taurus Single Romantic Love Life for May 30th to June 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Taurus Singles Romantic Love Life for May 30th to June 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, let's throw this down now. All right, so we got the Hangman Energy. We got the Four of Pentacles Energy. The Eight of Pentacles Energy. The Ten of Wands Energy. The King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The Magician Card Energy. Three of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. Okay. Very interesting. All right, so let's go through this. So, in the current situation for you guys, yes, there is this stuck energy, this stagnant energy here with the hangman. And why is that? Because you're focused on bringing things into balance. There is going to be some kind of happy surprise for you guys with the happiness card or you're focused on the happy surprise and bringing things into balance and moving past the stuck energy. The block, it seems to be there is a holding on to someone or an idea of a situation for pentacles energy or a lack of forgiveness here. Um, and we see that there are some issues coming up pertaining to friends and trying to be wise in your decision making here around the situation or there's a want to hold on to a situation when it comes to friends and being wise in your decision making here. So this is the person's feeling. So it doesn't matter who you turned on this video for. Okay, obviously you guys are single. So whoever you have in mind, this is the person that's for. Eight of Pentacles is saying this person feels like they wanna put the work or effort into the situation because they feel like you're their soulmate connection and they have a sense that they're stuck here okay with the stuck card energy or the anchor card energy for this deck okay and in the past we have the five of wands energy so there was a lot of things that were weighing heavy on you with the five of wands energy pertaining to an ex-partner here and a desire to fulfill your wishes around that connection And we see at the head of the matter or the overall here is the King of Pentacles energy, which tells me that Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, a lot of you are like, you know what? I've gained a lot of wisdom from the past. I've gained a lot of experience and I just want to be wise in my decision making moving forward in long term commitments here and something stable. Yeah, because you're just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to kiss and make up with this person from the past because there's challenges around this. Mm -hmm. OK, let's keep going. And we see in the near future, you guys are coming out as the Queen of Wands energy, which tells me that there is a lot of attractive energy here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. You are definitely radiating attractive energy and you're getting people's attention here with the Queen of Wands. Mm-hmm. There we go. A lot of people are feeling you. 
definitely have some romantic feelings going on and some of you um, it could be something to do with a friend here okay because a dog's card is coming out so we see Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and there is a sense of loyalty in these romantic feelings yes you are attracting some people here okay or you're attracting someone here that wants to be loyal to you because they have romantic feelings for you okay okay let's see so what is the positive aspect of your reading for the next couple weeks? We got the Ace of Pentacles energy. Well, what this tells me, guys, is yes, you have a lot of potential here, a huge offer here, a huge potential here for a long-term commitment, whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. So this is not the time to stress, okay? And to be honest with yourself about the situation, right? So, and also I feel like there's something hidden here about it. Someone's having some anxiety about the situation and maybe they're not revealing the whole fact that they feel like there's a huge opportunity here with you because guess what card is coming out for the outcome here we got the magician card energy which tells me you guys have all the tools you need you have an ideal situation here and there is a want to build a foundation three of pentacles energy and we can go further on this yep family and long-term commitment and it seems like you're cutting away these unhealthy things from the past and there's wisdom here, King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you're, you're doing this because you're like, you know what, I don't wanna get hurt. So I feel like you guys are focused on the long term here, right? You know you have all the tools to manifest what you want here and you're cutting away stuff that you're just like, this is unhealthy, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna move forward with this. And I feel like a lot of you have multiple choices here. Three of Pentacles is telling me that yes, you have a couple of different cho choices and options and serious ones here. So you're kind of like, all right, what's gonna be unhealthy to me? Because remember, if we look at what's the overall for your reading, you're being the King of Pentacles energy, which is saying, you know what, I gained life experience. Um, and I learned from the past from this ex individual and I'm trying to move past these challenges here because I'm, I'm I, I know what to do here and I know how to make wise choices and wise decisions around the situation mm -hmm. and look at this there's something secret here happening or something is being done underneath the surface here maybe someone's even spying on you uh, it does look like you're taking a leadership role here around the situation and there is some sense that they want to move forward with you and maybe it's something surprising about it because you see this is coming out of nowhere okay so let's go through this there's an ideal situation there's a want to build a foundation here some of you have more than one choice or option you're making wise choices and wise decisions gemini libra aquarius energy there's something to do with family and long-term commitment here and you're cutting away unhealthy things pertaining to the past there's this defensive energy uh, when it comes to this person about getting hurt there there's there's some kind of secret here or something that's being done beneath the surface maybe some spying going on and king the king energy tells me they're trying to take a leadership role here and they may take you by surprise okay so be aware of that but there is for the positive here a potential here for a long-term commitment and at the head of this is and i feel like for some of you this may involve an x too because if we see at the head of this there's challenges because someone wants to kiss and make up but you're like you know what i want to be wise in my decision making when it comes to long-term commitment here king of pentacles energy and let me get some other messages for you guys can i have some other messages for my single Taurus's romantic love life for may 30th to june 12th show my cards i need to see show my cards i need to see messages being your dreams need a practical plan it's time to meditate and contemplate about this don't let pride get in the way understand that nothing can come of the situation because confidence is the key here you're about to have a brand new uh, start coming so you have a brand new start coming obviously you guys know that because you have this huge potential here with this ace of pentacles energy all right my beautiful tauruses i love you guys so much if you guys liked it hit that like button let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for subscribing and, and turning on all notifications i really appreciate it if you guys want to communicate with me reach out to me you can do so on my facebook on my instagram or my website my instagram uh, handle is at jennifer walker zen my facebook one is jennifer walker tarot and my website is www.jenniferwalkerzen.com also uh, with the contest aspects 
All you guys have to do, obviously you guys know it's free to enter, free to participate, and it's a free reading. All you guys have to do is uh, put the word soulmate down in the comments below and whoever I'm attracted to, that is the people that I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose three people for this free reading. Okay, so I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you guys in another day or two. Uh, also, I will be doing that reading that I talked to you guys about with the cryptocurrency. So stay tuned. Love you guys so much and I will see you soon.